I was 13 years old, bullied by other children, haunted by questions about life, about death, questions that my school teachers and parents couldn't answer. One day in the library, I happened to pick up a book which talked about the Dharma, the teachings of Lord Buddha, and about how when Buddhism reached China, it mingled with the practices of the mountain-dwelling Taoists. The book talked about a state beyond birth and death, beyond suffering, a state of liberation found through practice. It also mentioned forms of martial arts, a method of moving meditation, ways to realize enlightenment. It was on that day, after reading the book, that I set out on a journey to find the masters of these profound teachings. It is early morning in a secluded part of a suburban Parisian cemetery. A middle-aged man works his way through the nine circles form, one of many hitherto secret practices found within the Dashwin, or Big Secret School. Serge Auger is the inheritor of this rare Taoist lineage, which traces its origins back more than one and a half thousand years to ancient China. Serge is well known in France as the urban Taoist, author of many best-selling books on Taoist practice for modern people. This particular Taoism of the old style, you have to work with your body too. You cannot just, you cannot just sit on your chair and, and and give beautiful concepts, you have to be able to express them. Some years ago, in a small market town in rural England, I met a healer. His eyes full of compassion and quiet humour. He treated me with shiatsu massage, using tiny pins placed at various points on the meridian lines. Slowly I began to get better. I spent the next few months observing him treating patients in his clinic, watching dramatic improvement in people with diabetes, high blood pressure, severe pains of one kind or another. Over time I found out that Shihan Aichi Tanaka was the inheritor of an ancient Japanese system, the Daiwaru, which comprised methods of martial arts, Buddhist meditation, and traditional healing. We surround ourselves with comfort and um, security, but, the, but it, it, this is the illusion, the comfort and the security is the illusion. We, we're in this world on a knife edge of life and death, and nobody gets out alive, nobody. If, if you're on the battlefield and people are also shooting arrows, mm. it's, good to, it's good to make yourself, make yourself smaller and lower. Mm. Mm. Yeah? So a lot of the stances is just to... to just pick, pick mobility as well. Mobility and mm. picking, out, picking out where is your target. Mm. You don't want to be 
obviously it, the smaller you are, the less the less of a target you are. Mm. And then if you had a proper training setup, you'd have targets in all directions. Mm. So you would practice these stances, you would shoot here, and you would shoot there, and you would move, you would shoot here. You just, you just mm. Martial arts became more of a, a, a meditative practice, uh, more of a kind of moving meditation, uh, a dance of liberation, a dance of expression, uh, an opportunity for me to kind of get to know myself. I think with correct biomechanics and correct movement, you can summon energy, not lose energy. You know, you can absorb energy uh, rather than burn it out. This is our Semba position. Now look, just say for example I was taking the blade out, I'd take the blade in my hand, you can see the blade here. Okay, so now look, say I put the blade back and I take the sullen dung out, that's the scarf. So now I've got this scarf I'm using, I will put the scarf back, <laughs> and now I will take the double knives, as you can see I've got double Knives. Now you wouldn't see that if I was dancing like so. You'd think I was just moving my hands. Okay? But they're knives. Now, let's say I put the knives back, I take a longer sword. Now I've got a longer sword. And the sword goes back. <laughs> 